What's up y'all, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So this is actually the big weekend, probably the biggest weekend of the entire lawn care season. It's the Memorial Day long weekend. On this long Memorial Day weekend, we honor those who have given their lives, given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom, and we all choose to celebrate our freedoms in a little different way. For many of us, it's with throwing down. And so this video is gonna have a lot of stuff in it because I'm packing in a lot of different lawn care fun. I'm gonna kinda do like a vlog today. I'm gonna take you through my entire day. This is about 9 a.m. right now on Saturday. I'm gonna take you all the way through tonight and the ending cigar and show you everything in between. And as always, I'm sure I'll throw in a couple two tree tips here and there to help you out. Now, one thing I'm gonna do in this video is answer the question, Alan, do you still use Melorganite? Or sometimes it comes in the form of, Alan, do you still like Melorganite? Do you still recommend in Melorganite? Well, I'm gonna answer that question in this video because as you guys know, this is the big weekend that I would typically throw that down. But some of you are wondering if I still work with Melorganite. So we'll, we'll talk about that a little later on. It's like our own burnout pad. Hey, well, I hope you enjoyed that montage. And uh, to the folks at Ryobi, don't worry. No lawn care nuts were harmed in the filming or the making of that little Gymkhana. Jim, Jim Cotta. I am gonna go ahead and test this today. I'll do a full review on it once I've given it a workout here. And uh, I think 100,000 square feet is a great way to do that. But next, why I'm really here is I gotta get these edges tightened up. You can see Sylvester Stolens are pushing out across here. For those of you that don't know how warm season grass grows, this is a perfect example. These are called Stolens. And this is how our grass thickens. And you can hear it, this is, you know, You see in the south, especially far south down here in the tropics, the jungle is always trying to retake the land. And so therefore our grasses have to be stout like this in order to fight back those weeds. And that is still the number one way to fight weeds in South Florida or anywhere in Florida or the south is with a dense turf stand. And when you have stolons like this that are aggressive that will push and take new ground, you have a really good defense against weeds. But we don't want them on the track. Now, it's been much worse than this in the past. We just had an event here, oh, I don't know, a month ago maybe? And uh, they were pretty clean then, so this side looks a little bit worse. Irrigation is, is having some challenges in a couple spots though. You're gonna see this as a recurring theme in my uh, vlog here today is that we are so dry in this part of Florida I don't think we've had measurable rain in a month and that's really bad because we are coming into a rainy season you know official start of the rainy season is June 1st we can talk about blackouts and all that but you know typically it's not like a perfect date it's not like you know God says oh you guys said uh, on uh, June 1st that's when your rainy season starts so let there be rain and yes yeah, it's not like that but it's just one of those times where we kind of look for that and leading up to it you would start getting more and more and more rain leading up to it it's not like it's a on and off thing you know what i'm saying right anyway this year we are really dry and so we're in the high 80s and 90s uh and very dry humidity is low i mean it's great for the humans we love it but uh what's happening is even irrigated lawns are struggling because one thing we always have to realize is even when you have in-ground irrigation it's not a replacement for rain there is literally nothing that can replace rain all irrigation can do is help fill in the gaps and when you have a gap that's this large you can definitely see where irrigation holes are uh, in your strategy. And for here, it's it's not, I mean, we have a brand new system here, right? I have it running every single morning. Um, I just can't have it running any more than that. It just doesn't make sense. They film here, they do things, you know, so we're letting it go as it is. It's gonna be fine. I mean, you guys, it probably looks really good to you on camera, but I'm just a little bit picky, but. Uh... I feel like I'm rambling, but we will talk a lot more about the lack of rain and I'll actually show you a site over by my office where they adjusted the irrigation and they actually got their St. Augustine to recover. 
Hey, all right, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna use this. I'm over here uh, by the office, actually taken off. And uh, I noticed something, and this will be important for those of you with St. Augustine grass, but really this is for everybody. And we're getting to that point in the season. We're definitely getting there in Florida, but even you guys up north with cool season grass, you're gonna be at this point too, where your rain drunk lawn is going to start checking out on you. And that's pretty much what we have now. The heat is up, the humidity is up here. We don't have rain support and uh, they're gonna need to adjust the irrigation here. So, and let me just tell you, we're at my office and or where the complex where my office is, they do a really nice job on the grounds here, but I can see that they, and they'll probably see these signs, these same signs and adjust the irrigation because that's what's needed, check this out. So I don't think you'll be able to see it as much from over here, but when you turn this way, can you see these areas that are this gray color right in here? Now this is a slope, so it's gonna show up here before it does really anywhere else, but it's still the same look. See how you have some areas that are more gray? That's telling you these areas are checking out from not enough water. Okay, well, if you remember from last week's video, well, depending when I put this in, I'll link to the video there. I actually showed this area when it first started to check out and how it was this kind of grayish look. And I was saying, hey, they need to adjust the watering. Well, now look, they haven't done that. We've had more dry days. And so now the areas that were just graying out, they're actually in now in dormancy. So I'm back over here at this spot and uh, this is at my office or at the, it's the office complex where my office is. And they actually did adjust the irrigation. I saw the guy out doing it and they did that just like 10 days ago. And now look at what the grass looks like just after 10 days where they took the watering to where it needed to be. Look at that. That just shows you how resilient St. Aug is. Now, another thing, this is fertilized monthly. Uh, they, they have a, a contract out here and whoever they've hired does a really nice job. They have really nice ride-on spreaders they go through. I watch them, they're very meticulous. They clean the sidewalks off. So whatever company takes care of Gatewood here, you guys do a great job, but look at that. So what you have is you have proper watering plus there was enough nutrient in the soil from fertilizer, look at how green that is. So all these areas, these were all browned out. Now look at them, they're all green. It just proves that it's just water. And you know, we need rain, that's just how it is. So now, what you will see as you come up here is there is some loss, see that? So this is one of those areas that was browned out for a long time. So what you see here is the grass that lived, lived and is green back up, but you have some dead loss because it can only go for so long, you know, not getting enough water. So that's the thing about St. Augustine though, it'll fill back in, the stolons will work their way back in and everything, but that's what that is. So you see overall though, it just, it looks really good. Hey y'all, wanted to break in here real quick. Got an exciting announcement for Yard Mastery. I'm really happy to announce that Jimmy Lewis, you guys know Jimmy, been friends of the channel for years, been my one of my friends for a long time. Jimmy Lewis is joining the Yard Mastery team. He's gonna be working on the engineering team, working with development of our app. If you guys haven't downloaded our free app, I'll put it below. Jimmy has already made some significant contributions to that and he's only been on for a couple weeks here. So Jimmy, welcome to the team. Really happy to have you, man, and look forward to seeing what you're gonna do in the app for our customers and for our users going forward. Welcome aboard.
All right, real quick, nice cut on this. Gonna definitely do a full review on that coming up. But can you see how double dark this lawn is right here? So regardless of if the irrigation can keep up or not, I mean, it's obviously doing pretty well, not as good as I would like everywhere, but do you see how green this section of the track is right here? This section of the infield? I applied a new fertilizer here and we're gonna be releasing it next week. We have it in pre-release right now. If you're interested at all in a new release fertilizer that's really, really cool and you wanna read some of the background on it, I'll put the link in the description below to our pre-release where for those of you that like to get new things or like to get them ahead of time, you can sign up to be notified when we do release this fertilizer next weekend. But uh, that is the result that it's delivered here at the Freedom Factory. Okay, so here I am at the church lawn, and um, things have gone from bad to getting better and then out to worse. So uh, had some more challenges here. So you guys remember right around Mother's Day, I had showed you where we had to turn the water off here due to some things with the irrigation, and uh, the grass kind of checked out, and then they had a kid's night on top of this, and we suffered some damage. Uh, kept watering, though. I was out here surveying uh, just after. Things looked like they were starting to recover in a lot of places. And then I got a text from my buddy Greg, and he said they had to shut the water down again for several days. And again, we've been really dry. And uh, sadly, somebody had their wedding here, and I guess, you know, it looked like this for their wedding. And I'm so sorry, but, you know, there's some challenges we face. But now the water is back on, and they're upping the watering. They've taken the watering to double, which is good. But, man, some of these areas... Um, I just think they're just damaged from when they were dry and crispy and they just got trampled foot traffic just got them um so the only hope i have is that the rainy season will save me i can tell you guys the rainy season it's literally a miracle rain is a miracle it's so nourishing and i have seen lawns now they were saint augustine but i've seen saint augustine lawns that look just like this and i'm going to take you through the neighborhood here in a minute by the way look at all these white rocks who's throwing all these white rocks out here what is, oh, look at them all. See, there's white rocks in here. Somebody's been throwing them all out into the lawn. That's not good. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you to my neighborhood and show you some of the lawns and what they look like now and talk about what's going on. It's mostly watering or, or you know, that kind of stuff. Lack of irrigation, whatever you wanna call it. But what we'll do is we'll document some of these lawns and then I will take you once the rainy season does kick in, which again, hopefully soon, and I'll show you that they recovered all on their own. I had to borrow my wife's bike because I don't have any air in my tires and I'm too lazy to air it up. I love when people get festive around this time beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. There you can see that's just classic where sprinklers are just not keeping up. It's well irrigated. They're just they're just not keeping up in every spot. Same here. These are keeping up a little better, but you see a couple spots there. Here's one over here that they probably didn't get the sprinklers adjusted in time. So you can really see that one drowning out. And here's one where they have been keeping up with it really well, see? That's all this is. This is all irrigation, every bit of it. Here's another one here. See, all this, this is just lack of water. It's not disease, it's not chinch bugs or anything like that. Just, we need rain. There, see that one? See all the gray? I bet you that looked nice and green in the morning and then it, that's what it gets to in the afternoon. Try it. Here's one. Ooh. You watch, that one will be back green during the rainy season. You watch. It'll be awesome to see. That'll be a testament to uh, how strong St. Aug is. So that'll be a fun one, but hopefully the rainy season comes. That one needs water bad. This one's got some shade to help it. There you go, full sun right here. Mostly keeping up. Keeping up real well over here. That one's about 50% Bermuda right there. Here, here's one. Look at these guys are keeping up. Good irrigation there. Look at that color. Looks nice. Here comes the dominant zoysia lawn in my neighborhood. 
see how he's doing oh yeah struggling this lawn is usually super green right now he's got it fully irrigated looks like the irrigation might work a little better on this end see you can see the areas where it's getting well irrigated but other areas have droughted out this is the same grass type as i've got at my project lawn except ours has been trampled on so it's still looking like that plus trampled on so i think that's probably enough examples there you can see a lot of you guys in florida that's what your lawns look like don't be throwing down disease x just be adjusting your watering you know probably have to water every day essentially if it's going to stay this hot and dry and uh a good half inch three quarter inch it's a lot i know but that's what it takes to keep up when it's like this it is the tropics all right so i'm back at home now and the afternoon is wearing on and i'm gonna do a little work around here i got a couple things i gotta do the first thing is you guys know this is my memorial day weekend throwdown and i gotta choose what i'm gonna throw down right here but before i do that i'm gonna talk to you about the uh, area just adjacent to this one so this area here was hit with milo about a week ago a lot of people ask do you still work with malorganite yes i still work with malorganite i still love malorganite i still recommend malorganite it's still my number one store-bought option the problem or the challenge we've had recently is just been sold out in a lot of places but no if you can get malorganite malorganite makes a great memorial day weekend throwdown and in fact i did a video for the malorganite folks and we put it on their blog and i'll link it below and i'll link it up there in the eye it's a video on how to apply malorganite and i show you how to do that using a common scott spreader so check that out so milo went on half the lawn but the other half of my lawn what i call the main stage that's where I applied my new fertilizer that we'll be releasing next weekend. Make sure you subscribe to see results and check out the link in the description below if you'd like to learn a little bit about this fertilizer ahead of time. All right, y'all, well, all my cameras have died, so I guess that's my cue to now come in and get things finished up. And we're gonna finish off like we often do with a beautiful sunset over on Anna Maria. We're gonna head out there now, get our public subs. I'm gonna show you a nice cigar that I'm gonna have, and then I'm gonna show you that sunset. So. Hope you all have a wonderful and restful rest of your Memorial Day weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you in the lawn.